Hi guys, uh, my name is Kivan12 uh, and this is round one of the commentator tournament of YouTube. My opponent was, uh, it says here Linster, but his YouTube commenter name was uh, HenryLin22. Uh, I believe I have the Tokugawa clan, uh, as we can see right here. Uh, first of all, apologies for the lag, my computer is not really up to standard. So here we go, uh, my clan is the Tokugawa, this is all chosen at random, and unfortunately with the randomness, my enemy did get Mori. Now, that's really unfortunate because they're the ship clan, and land battles are not really their thing. Um, we do plan on having a rematch where he's going to just mess me up with cannon bunes. so we'll just see how that goes. Okay, first of all... Um, as you can see, I have quite a lot of cavalry here. I'll send them on the flanks. And now here, this is the first confrontation. Uh, I do put my bow cavalry into this formation where they run around in circles and put them in the skirmish mode. Here's confrontation. Am I going to move? Am I going to even realize this? Just in time. Just in time. Now, unfortunately, my, ally, uh, my enemy does make a mistake here and he does dismount his men. Um, Coming back up to the ridge, we have the main battle going ahead. I'm going to send some Katana Cavalry to just go help out with that, to just clean them up. Uh, also, I do send the rest of my horses on the right-hand side over here. We'll see what happens to them later. Now, he's got the top here, which is bad news for me. I do notice he has his bow samurai, bow samurai in the front line. I want them dead, but he knows this. He charges his very highly trained Katana Samurai, Naganata Samurai, and just charging my front line. I have some hero uh, katana on the side here. Uh, just my my uh, army is basically made up of Naganata katana samurai and these little bad boys right here. Boom, Kisho Ninja. This is the Tokugawa specialty, the Kisho Ninja. This is the first time I've ever actually used the Kisho Ninja, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Luckily, they're in range to just throw their. Um, they're smoke bombs, fire bombs, whatever you call them, and they're basically completely overpowered. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty much broken. Because look at that. Low, low. I've just rinsed a lot of his units, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately for him. Um, battle going on the right hand side. Yeah, I did have missed this out. Yeah, he does charge my. Uh, he does charge my uh, horses, which is good. He was hiding them in the bushes. He used bushes much to his control. And he was able to surprise me a few times. Um, now I do notice everyone's engaged in the front line. No one can move, so I'm going to move my cavalry. That's one on the, on the uh, left flank, round to the back, to just basically take some pot shots. My bow cavalry is just going to take some pot shots to the back of his Naganata Samurai. There's uh, some people breaking. I pop on both of my uh, commando abilities of rally and I think I inspire. I think I inspire my Kisho Ninja, yeah, to do better in combat, really. Why I've charged my bow cavalry into combat, who knows? Oh, what are they against? Naganata. That's pretty silly. But uh, I'm just trying to hopefully demoralize as much as possible his men. Now, he does surprise me here with um, some horses that were waiting in the side bushes. Now, that is pretty, pretty hench little uh, squad there. They're going to do some damage to me. I do not realize this. I send my horses all over the shop. I'm more focused in the middle at this point on the battle that's going ahead, just trying to trying to clean up the the uh, battle. Now, this is a perfect example of why the bow cavalry in their circle formation and the skirmish is brilliant. That they'll just run as quickly away. I find that if they're in the uh, the square formation with a skirmish enabled, they will not be able to run away fast enough. If they're already moving, they can run away quite nicely and just never get. Um, never get chased really. Um, he also does charge some more Katana Cavalry. Unfortunately, uh, I believe that he did charge in these Cavalry a little bit too late. They could have made a vast difference to the battle itself. And again, uh, I have some Yarai Samurai, which is nice. Quite a big stack of them. They're just gonna miss and... In fact, I take that back. They do get charged in the uh, circle formation. But I guess not just as easily, really. They get, uh, am I even going to react? Yeah, I am going to react with my Katana Samurai. And just engage them to try and pull my bow cavalry out of there. 
So this is basically just um, trying to clean up. Now I do lose a hell of a lot of men from his katana samurai. And I was starting to get a little bit worried towards the very end because I was starting to lose a lot of men uh, in, this, um, in this bush here. He's got some katana cavalry and they actually are doing pretty well against all of my army here. I don't know if you heard there but my general died. Not really too sure. Oh look, there's one guy of my general running away. Uh, my general died. I'm not really too sure how that happened. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. I guess I have to uh, practice a little bit more in this game for uh, round two, really. So um, that's pretty much just wrapping everything up. And I hope you enjoyed round one of the YouTube Commentators Tournament. Thank you. Just the last bit here are some end game stats. Um, as you can see, I had more units deployed than his. Uh, but he did manage to kill a hell of a lot of my units. In fact, I've taken a bit of friendly fire there <laughs> from my bow cavalry. Um, now, he did play very well, and uh, I also enjoyed the way that we fought. We both uh, moved up into the middle to just fight each other one-on-one, -on -one, not camping, just going at each other. And uh, we both decided not to use matchlock infantry or artillery because we feel that we both we both feel that it sort of ruins the game a little bit. Uh, not dissing them entirely, but when you're having a fun tournament like this, you just want to see who's best, steal on steal. So thank you for watching this video.